We are on the eve of a technological revolution. Putting these machines on the streets will save countless lives. Time to wake him up. This is the future. It's not the weapons account. It's who's handling them. Or, in your case, what? The premise of Robocop embodies all the questions that have to do with machines taking over. Please exit your home. In reality, we're very close to many of the things in the movie right now. It's not some crazy futuristic vision. We do have like aerial drones that are in the Turan sequence you know, like what we've got today. The way the drone pilots operate these machines is akin to a video game. They have a joystick. It's essentially robotics, you know, and you know, you're, you're disconnected from what you do. Americans don't want a machine. They want a product with a conscience. We're gonna put a man inside a machine. Our movie's very much about what happens when you become a robot. The scientific process, the emotional process, we're really trying to use what the military are actually uh, developing and, and medical facilities. The technology of Robocop is already there. We have vision implants, so we can actually give some basic vision back to people who have been blind. With their implants, the patients are able to make out dark from light objects. There's been amazing breakthroughs over the past year that have allowed us to successfully link our minds to robotic prosthetics. The most recent example was they literally were able to implant a chip the brain so this guy can actually think and connect with a computer that allowed him to control a robotic arm. Composite systems made of organic systems but also made of artificial systems. That's what Robocop is. It's half a robot, half a man. What kind of suit is this? It's not a suit, Alex. It, it's you. They can put a man inside a machine. Should they? The idea that science can build a human better than nature can build a human is very appealing. We can already activate and control robotic platforms, but we want to be able for them to think for themselves. Current rover technologies which are deployed on Mars, those rovers are allowed to sort of make some decisions on their own. The system releases signals into Alex's brain, making him think he's in control, but he's not. It, it's the illusion of free will. Technological singularity describes the moment where essentially robots, artificially intelligent organisms, eclipse the human mind. The problem is once you have a true technological singularity or almost a deus ex machina, the consequence would be that you may not be able to control it and it might take over. Technology can advance our species, but if we advance it too far, humans become obsolete. Drop the levels until I tell you to stop. Doctor, you'll be taking away his emotions. I looked in his eyes and I couldn't see my husband. This idea of, you know, a sentient being versus computer and, and where's the line? What is free will? Who thinks they have it? Who thinks they control it? It's one of the basic themes of this movie. What do these machines feel? If one of them uh, killed a child, what would it feel? Nothing. We're talking about something that is acting completely according to the programming and can't be held accountable. Drop the weapon! Let the kid go! Drop the gun! It's worried that the kid's gonna get hurt. Let the kid go! The problem is if you put organics into the system, you've just created a system that now will probably kind of hesitate at the wrong time. He's overriding the system's priorities. He's undoing what we did to him. Who's liable, you know? You can point blame at someone that has intentions or a brain or a certain process of decision making, but if something doesn't, where does the blame lie? And at what point does the human stop being himself? And at what point does the machine supposedly sort of take over? How do you deal with that as a man? How do you react to the fact that you've become a robot? Without man, there's nothing. Without honor and integrity, love, you're just dealing with a robot. Robots don't have feelings. Still makes us special, huh? Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> <laughs>